Fanatics. Draw me out, that could pay in a pick. I'll be on your roof, call me Saint Nick. Caesar with me too, going ape shit. Gorillas in the zoo, we had to break shit. What's good, people? Welcome to another episode of The Landing, NFTR. Big up the team, you already know. With me today, someone that deserves their flowers because when we're talking flowers, we're talking on things like impact. You get me? And you see when someone's from out of London and they're making an impact in our scene, because I don't say that like it's just a London scene, but from when you come from out of London into it and you're making noise, I have to salute you. So my dog, Trillery, Ross, Clark, Banks. Come on, straight. Come to see me today, you get me? Yeah, the killy them. Chat two questions and two answers and we'll yeah, see what I'll go on. You get me? she got her juices here, so make sure. Chill, spill. You get me? Spilling. We're gonna get into them thing then and see what I'll go on. Spillery. What I'll go on, Futuro? I'm here, man. I'm good. Yeah? Little skirt, skirt, skirt on the way. Drive wasn't too bad. Hostess of the Moses, live in the flesh. We say you Long Them long distance there for come see you and I cleared up school, she, no? She drove straight down for those that don't know, you know, came from Leicester for the interview, so i got to give her mad props for that. Yeah, you know man, what I'm trying to say? On. So how was 2020 for you? 2020 was mad. Yeah. I love it. Talk to me. Like... It was a mad year because obviously you got COVID. Mm -hmm. The start of the year was good. It was everyone's year. It's mm. going to be my year. Mm. You're doing them, um, rounding up 2019 with the tweets mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. posts. And mm -hmm. then you start to recap, post all the videos you drop, your best moments. You know you know what it's like. We yeah, all kind yeah, of follow yeah. that fashion where you just kind of put out there what you liked and yeah. all the little quotes and your new year this and new me and rare So I was just like getting used to this new vibe, the female scenes building, there's mm. lots of girls and there's, there's new guys coming through and there's just a lot going on. And I was like, yeah, man, ready to have a good year. So it started all right. Mm. And then COVID came. That was mad. When did I was COVID in, come? Um, like March, innit? March. I was March, in New yeah. York. I had to fly back. I was pissed. I was in New York living my best life. I had to fly back. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, cool. I was in New York and I go to New York regularly. Mm -hmm. And you only ever see Chinese people wear masks. Yeah. For real. Like, even before this. For real, for real, You see yeah, the Chinese yeah, people there yeah, on their masking. Even in yeah. the stations in London and, mm. you get me, Victoria. Like, yeah, they're no, straight. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, so, when right. I, it's mad you're to right. be in mm. such a big place seeing so many people wear it. Because we was all... Well, I wasn't wearing masks at them times there, but I see bare people starting to wear it. And mm. I was like, you know what? This is, like, you know when you're kind of not sure whether it's going to get there or not? And I'm yeah. just like, okay, where's this going? But then it's like, trill. They're talking about shutting the airports and red. And I'm like, huh? Now, as much as I love New York, mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm ready to be locked down here Over and just there. like, imagine I couldn't come back for yeah, a mad long yeah, time or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I kind of got shot, came back, whatever. Um, but yeah, I was just there, vacay, oh, trying what? to go no, LA. No work, no work, just vacay. No, nah, I was just chilling. But obviously, mm -hmm. even when I'm chilling, I'm still on a, hey, what do you do? I'm an artist. Yeah, check me mm -hmm. out. Oh, you do music? Yeah, check me out. Yeah, all right, plug. Like, I'm always plugging myself, always. Even Ooh, if I'm on a chilled just, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, meeting yeah, people yeah. And, and I'm building my fan base constantly. Mm. Um, but yeah, I was just chilling. Like, it's kind of like home, home from home. New York is like, no, London's like little New York. Okay. So when you go to New York, even as a Londoner, if you've yeah. not been before, I don't know, I think you'd love it there. Like, New I York is like, it's like a second home to me. I love it. So I just go there to flex, to get inspiration. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously, music's popping there. A lot of my favourite artists come from there. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's just a nice place to go. I've been going for, like, way over 10 years now, and I just fuck with um, New York differently. So, had to come back. And then it all started from there. The Instagram lives. Is this really happening? Mm. Lockdown, innit? Fucking hell. But how do you pattern through it, though? Like, would you still go in studio and all them type yeah, of things? Yeah, I was. I was. I remember, I remember there was a day, you know, when they were announcing these Wednesday, these announcements, they have these dates when they're doing up Boris and right there. Mm -hmm. I was like, yo, Judge, oi, I'm coming booth. Before this lockdown come, I'm coming booth. I'm coming and I'm mashing up like five tunes. I'm coming, fuck this. Like, I gotta have their shit ready. Da, 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 da. And we've been going through, but even at that time, we didn't know how hard it was going to be. We're hearing there's going to be tanks and they're going to be I this and that. Yeah, you get it? Yeah, and you're yeah, thinking, yeah, wow, yeah. Like, I might not even be able to go out like that. So I was like, yo, fuck this. I'm going booth. Mm -hmm. I need to get in. And um, I wrote a couple. That's when I did Drillery. and did like a couple tunes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, I was just in a certain space. So I was like, okay, i got to say some shit and just, just, yeah, let me just get this off my chest before mm. before lockdown come. And then through it all, I don't know, it's been hard. Like, I have my days, I'm just like, this is long. Mm. Like, I want to go out. I want to 
and then you just have to tough it. We're all going through the same shit, innit? You just gotta ride it out, really and truly. Like, it is what it is. So, I've been trying to cope, but it's not easy. Like, we'd Mm. all be lying if we said we haven't been at a point where you're just like, you just mentally, you're just like, okay, cool. And you start thinking, like, what is really going on? Are we gonna have to have these jabs? Are Mm. we gonna have to do this? Like, it, that where is this going? Because we can see slowly, slowly, it's like they're pushing it and they're refraining and they're, but mm-hmm. it's like, okay, something's really happening here. Mm-hmm. So just trying to stay active, really. Um, I think it's been a half decent year for the scene. Obviously, no shows, like certain things we normally had, we don't have, but mm-hmm. I feel like people have been getting into their bag and just been pushing out music. It has been a year, 2020 was a year of putting out music. Yeah, yeah, that's one yeah. thing I can say. Like yeah. anyone who's in this rat race, like we're mm-hmm. putting out music because that's mm-hmm. all we can do. Mm-hmm. Visuals, music, and just crack on. Where really. you find the motivation though to still go studio, still put out, still go do videos? Like, where's that come from? Is it just in you to? Yeah, just real life. Just real life. Life situations, what I'm going through, um, social media, just everything. We're still living in it. So mm-hmm. for me, I've not even started telling my story yet. Okay. Like, I kind of have, but not really. Mm-hmm. So I've got a lot more to say. And I to feel say. like people ain't really took me in yet, yet, like on that bigger scale. Yeah. So for me, like, the motivation's always there. Like, being an artist, you offer something to the people. That's how you get fans. Mm-hmm. That's how you thrive. Your story, yeah. a lot of people can relate to. Like, oh, swear down, we're different colours, but okay, I've been through that. And okay, I've been through that. That's, that's what music is. That's how you build a fan base. So that, it, it's... The whole game to me is motivation. Because I'm like, yeah, that's me at the top spot. That's me. That's, that's where I deserve to be. To? Yeah, of course, man. It's only a matter of time now, God willing. What, I feel like. What more do you think you need to do to get that solidified? Are you solidified now? You don't feel like you're solidified yeah, no, now? No, no, no. I do. I do. I feel like I'm um, kind of like one of the household names in the female mm. music. But I don't want it to be females now. I just feel like the best artist Rapper. should be. Yeah, should just, be? just, yeah. just artists, yeah. lyricists. I'm a lyricist and I'm an artist in my own right as well. So I feel like... Now it's just um, it's the fe- the female scene and the male scene is different. Mm. So mm. we ain't where we need to be. No, mm-hmm. many of us. Perhaps. But that's that's a whole other struggle that we have to go through. As women, you're a man. You'll never understand. Mm-hmm. But then, as a woman, I would never want to be nothing but a woman. So you know what I mean. It's yeah. just it yeah. is what it is. We just we crack so on. So you was born and raised in Leicester. Correct. So I've always wondered, like obviously me being from London, is it a thing where? Obviously, you're proud of where you come from, all of that. But do you yeah. ever, did you look to London as like, see how we all know America's the, the, the daddy of this Yeah, 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 100. When you're from outside London, do you look at London as the home of um, rap music? Or is that, is that a myth? In the UK? For you? Yeah, in the UK for you. You could say it's the home of, but you could just say it was the most popular city. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, so I don't think it is the home of. I think it was just the most just the popular, popular city because the man them in Leicester and the man them in Birmingham and the man them in Nottingham and probably man them in Leeds and that as well, they were still on their thing. That's Even the times when certain man them out here like who created the, the rap scene, there would have been certain man mm-hmm. it, that same time mm-hmm. in other cities doing it as well. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? So it's just at that time, we weren't looking for no validation. Yeah. I never looked to... Um, London rappers like that because I was so gassed over Le- the Leicester lot. I didn't have to come. Le- I didn't start coming to London till I was like, tw- like early twenties. I so wasn't you never coming. Felt like you had to come through. Nah, no. I was just like it was just Leicester, Brom, Derby, yeah. obviously Chef, yeah. Niche, and that. Yeah. Our things different. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, so are we missing out? Are we missing out? Hundred percent. Yeah. Oi, listen, the Midlands is lit. If you know, you know. Big up all the Midlands crew, 100%. man. Big up up north as well. Big up, I'm from East Midlands. So when you hear me referencing East Side, it's not East London. It's the East Midlands. That's Leicester, Sheffield, Nottingham, mm-hmm. Derby, I believe. East Midlands. Yeah, East Midlands is lit, man. It's, it's dope. The girls are different. The guys are different. The accent's different. The, swang, um, the twang's different. Sorry, the swag. Mm-hmm. Like, we don't wear boot cuts still. So stop it. Fucking stop it. A couple right? of still wearing boot cuts, you know? Yeah, a couple of them are still wearing boot cuts, you know? They're wearing boot yeah. cuts. Couple but I've seen a couple of London men wearing boot cuts, so let's allow yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah. now nah, you lot, we're definitely missing out. Sometimes a London lot, you're so far up your own ass, respectfully, you don't mm. realise how big the UK is. That's Go on out of town, get a nice country, girl. Well, I'm to you. That's why I asked you, though, because I feel like there's a, um, a narrative that Everyone outside of London has to come to London, but that's not really the case, Carl. It's not now. You just explain it's not now, but it is because if I weren't coming to London, mm. pulling up on blocks like I'm from places, mm. you'll see me with a video, you'll see me 
in a video in um, East, in Angel Town. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. you get it? Obviously, I'm just mm -hmm. connected in certain places where yeah. it's like, yeah, of course, come on. Like, it's family, innit? It's yeah. not a big ends thing either. Like, don't ever get it twisted. It's just like, it's wherever I feel comfortable. Oh, and these are yeah, places that yeah, I yeah. also call home in London because I record there or because I've got people there or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, but now, if I wasn't here like that, it would be hard. Like, people probably wouldn't know me. So I had to start taking them trips from back in the day, Michael Million hosting mixtape. Shout out Michael Million. Like, what, this is how I love... you time there? Michael Million come... hosting yeah. my first mixtape. You're lying. Are you mean? I mean, I've on your point. Shout out my say, brother Michael say, yo, Million. Michael, I think I had a bill or a bill fifth. I was like, yo, I ain't got much, you know, Michael, but yo, boom. And he's like, nah, come on, I got you. And he knows about yeah. me from before Trillery. Pinky pioneer, go man. get her, you mad. That's come a... on, shout out Aye. straight. So wait, Pinky go get her, yeah? Pinky so go get her was a little Pinky go get her. Yeah. Lady Skeng. Stop it. You did your Chill research. Why banks. are you trying it? Yeah. Are they all the same person or different characters? Different stages of the same person. So break down each person. What are you saying? Lady Skeng was a hood chick. Lady Skeng sounds like she got things trapping. In, her, in her bag. And... Yeah, trapping, mad thing. You see Skeng, it was a big word in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So you had like Skeng done and rare tear. And mm -hmm. I think even the word Skeng. Mm -hmm. I think that came from Yard. I like, thought, it would have been the Yard man, the Skeng man, and the Shower man that brought certain even yeah. words for man to start saying Skeng yeah. instead of, like, a strap or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Lady Skeng was just, like... Yeah, like, Lady Skeng done. I think I, I, was, I was over there, and one of the, the bad man then was, like, Skeng done. I kept hearing, and I'm in the ends, and it's, it's mad. And I'm like, yeah, I'm a bad girl. I'm Lady Skeng done. Are you mad? Straight. So they were young days. Um, grime, mm -hmm. like... 140 what BPM. Doing gram, yeah? What? Zero this is what I'm six. saying. This is what oh I'm saying. God. This is why I had to rise recently because mm. I'm not a rap chick from last week. Trust me, like, I've been doing my thing in it. I came in on grime um, and then obviously it just evolved. I just moved mm. with the time. The time but yeah. my next, yeah, 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 the next thing I'm dropping is kind of grimy as well. That My next release is 2021 Lady Skeng. Okay. Yeah. That's the people that know me from then, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, like, the, yeah. the beat, the flow, even the bars. Any two block is real around it. It's my, it's my old shit. Yeah, come on. Like, certain bits. Yeah, of course. I brought it back, man. Come You're on. Born like, to you got to. Yeah, you, you got to know where you come from. So, that was like, that was just the first stage, the mm. first name. You lady skang, you have your. We had. There was me, my sister, me, um, Lady Skeng, Lady Flames. They had Miss Fire, little this, little that. Like, All from was, Leicester. Yeah, it was that yeah. that time. Like, we yeah. had a click. CWA, the catties with attitude. The wow. Catties with You didn't want it with us. I'm mad I'm even saying the this, but it is what it is. If you, I'm, yeah, I can't Aye. run away from that. CWA, catties with attitude. We, so if Lady Skeng was the gangster, what was Pinky Go Get Up? Sound like money. Yeah. Pinky Go Get Up was when I was more in my bag now. Mm. Obviously, I know the roads, yeah. Mm -hmm. And obviously, mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. brother was Rez Go Getter. Okay. And he's a rap, he's an artist as well, like cold. Okay. So I was just like following in your yeah. big steps, footsteps. Sorry, yeah, big yeah, crow yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, I was yeah. like, yeah, Pinky Go Getter. That was when I was in my bag, traveling more as well, mm -hmm. um, and just like more rap. I was heavily influenced by West Coast. Oh, you was yeah. the Jacker. Mob yeah. figures and Pacino. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. I wouldn't even. Do you know what I mean? Tech That's Nine, crazy. Brother Lynch, Big yeah, yeah, Lurch, yeah, yeah. Fat Tone. Like, yeah. So, I how, how old was you when you was listening to all this? Like, what? We was listening to them kind of music from, like, I'd say 15. 15, yeah. 16, 17, 18. I'd say Lady Skeng was probably like probably 13, 14 to maybe about 17. That's crazy. And then I just thought, I need to change my name. I'm like, Lady Skeng, this just sounds too... I, I'll clash, man. Like, I'll, mm. like, yeah, like, we was on our thing, youth clubs, sets, like, and that was gang life. Not how it is now, like, mm. shanking people. You know, all that mad stuff, but, yeah, like, yeah, with yeah. the girls, like, we was, we was on it, mm. like, mm -hmm. and there was bare girls that was on it as well. Mm -hmm. So it was like, mm -hmm. okay, all right, then cool. Let's, let's, let's pull up, let's, yeah. But what made you lot get into it? It's mad. I loved, I loved the childhood, though. Like, it was always there. And obviously, in my area, we had um, we had different crews as well. Mm. So the main crew from where I come from in Highfield was the Dark Art crew. And they was like, yeah, the mm. man them, they was doing their thing in and around the Midlands. Mm. They even, even London, like, they was connected. But mm. yeah, that was where it all came from. That was from, like, 
I would have grew up listening to them from jungle days. Okay. Sets. My dad was DJing and he, they would come through and, da, 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 and I'm just there and I'm hearing my dad play things and I'm young and I'm just like, yo, like, these, are, these sound familiar. Mm -hmm. And then obviously it just kind of went from there. So um, we had the Dark Art Crew, SRA 187, and then there was this Ops. I'm not even gonna say no Ops's name because they're irrelevant. But at the same time, <laughs> nah, yeah, it's been it's mad, isn't it? I don't, yeah, Talk it's your been truth. it's been mad. But um, mm. yeah, like that's I grew up in the like these are used to clash. It was like. anti. Like mm. there was club raves. Man was going there. Man mm. was clashing. But the Dark Art man then was the heaviest spitters like in the Midlands period, okay. in my opinion. Okay. Like man had it locked. That's where I get my flows Your from. That's from. where yeah. yeah, that's where my things from. Like, they had mixtapes and stuff. Everyone in Leicester would have the dog art mega mixes. Obviously, they were bad man in their own rights as well. We're keeping up with things. We're from mm -hmm. Highfield. We're from Leicester. That's the hood. You understand? Everyone wants to fuck with the fields, man. Mm -hmm. Everyone. And it's mad because, obviously, there's fields here. here and yeah, it's yeah, mad yeah, how I'm yeah. kind of linked with certain fields. It's yeah, mad because yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, yo, yeah, yeah. we've got fields. Yeah. Like, like, where are you from? From fields, innit? Yeah. That's what we were saying, Leicester. Mm -hmm. And... Fields from Leicester is East Midlands and Fields from London it's is inside. East London. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I think, That's yeah, crazy. certain kiddies yeah, them yeah, that yeah. I got over there, I'm just like, yo, you're the same. So man I'm come through and man are just nervous. Like, trust me, when, they, when my niggas used to come through, it's just mad. But it's just, that's all I know. I mm -hmm. went from over there. So mm -hmm. I don't know them, man. You used to see them, man. Certain man used to try and be. But the Fields, man, them, like High Fields, man, mm -hmm. they were the... They were the generation of the yard man that came, the first yard man that touched down in Leicester and had the okay. food game on smash and okay. was keeping up madnesses. They had children who came to be the dog art so man. So Leicester got a well. big Jamaican influence up there? It did at the time. It's yeah. kind of watered down a little bit now. Mm. And it's mad because coming to London, I've met so many more... Um, I'm African, but mm -hmm. I've met so much more Africans, like mm. Nigerians and Ghanaians. In Leicester, it was just more... Caribbean, Jamaican mm -hmm. and small island, mm -hmm. Antigua, Barbuda, Montserrat, like smaller islands. Mm -hmm. And then there was a few Africans in like, um, at Beaumont Lees or New Parks, but not really. It was mm -hmm. mostly like Yardies. And when they came, they all came to Highfields. Okay. So they was all, we was all put in Highfields. You had okay. a few little tower blocks and like the little project looking areas. So Highfields was initially the hood. Right. And that's where you had backline, frontline, Holy patings used to go on, like that was when it was the pimps and the hoes and the gunshot and the part of the trap house, gambling houses, you get it, like mm. from then. Mm. So I kind of, obviously I'm younger, but mm -hmm. my olders lived that, like it's so mad. So you would have grew up seeing all of that basically. Yeah, and then it's it's mad, we just grew up around it all, but yeah. it was like, yeah. like luckily enough, the man them never used to pressure no pick me or no gal, like that, you understand what I'm saying? Okay. So okay. you'd be really unlucky to get caught up and be like, I don't like them lot because the man them weren't never troubling the women or the kids them. It was just whatever problems was right, grown right, men right, shit, right, innit? Right, Do you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So yeah, man, like I love I love where I grew up. It was good. We had we had good musicians come from there that mm -hmm. helped, obviously, me. Are you the I biggest from Leicester though? I'd probably I'm say yeah. Just nah, I would say top. yeah. I would say oh. yeah. One of there's like there's one or two others, but not really. No one that's really. That's what I was gonna say, Carl. Like I said, it, you're doing here doing thing your like that, crazy. like that. I'm trying, man. Your it's just crazy, it's, man. it's. I'm just. I just feel like I've got a story to tell. To tell. Yeah, I feel I like I've that. got a story to tell, and it's 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 crazy because some people like it's not that I would ever try and be hood. Mm -hmm. But I can't try and be what I'm not. not I can't yeah. try and change what I've seen. It's yeah. who I am. Yeah. And I'm trying to obviously have a different life now and show the young women as well where I'm from that like, yo, you can be an entrepreneur. You can be a great makeup artist, mm -hmm. rapper, singer, businesswoman, mm -hmm. manager, business owner, mm -hmm. hairdresser, like whatever you want to be in it. Like there's more to life than the hood that we come through, co right. come from. Because yeah. a lot of, I'm, I'm driving through the hood and... A lot of the man them that was up, their nitties now. They're begging me for a pound. So a lot of the youths them, they're so drinking Berlin and they're, they're trapping without a cause. And I'm just scratching my head like, bro, I remember when we was out in and everything was good. Mm -hmm. But you, you got to know when to leave the roads. Is every hood the same, do you feel like? Because you've been to a few different areas. What do you feel like? Like if you're from a hood, is it the same any, any hood you go to? Pretty much. You the structure's like? the same. you got to know when to get out. That's what the I hood think is. That's a problem for a lot of people, though. Of course, right. but it's it's easy, it's fast, it's fast, and it's easy. Like you have the hardships of it, mm -hmm. but when all you know is bagging up work and 
keeping it moving or hopping out on man and taking what's not, you get it? Like, that's just what it is. Like, why am I going to work when and I what, can you go and took do that, that? You took that route because of what you've seen growing up? Hustling? Yeah. Or you just went quick though? Yeah, I had things I wanted to get by. It was never like, I wanted to travel places. Mm -hmm. A lot of my money I spent traveling. Mm -hmm. So I would go somewhere for some months and just, I'll go to Jamaica, I'll go to America, I'll go to different countries. Mm -hmm. So I was never one of them idiot gal where I'm just like getting money and just buying bare designer and then okay. being brass okay. again. Yeah. And then just like trying to do the show off thing. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to go out and do all of this money spending thing. I go, I can't tell you the last time I went out and spent money. Mm. I don't need to. What are you drinking, Chilui? Oh, hey, yeah, but yeah, like, you get it. Like, that. What do you mean? You just roll through. No security, no pat down. What do you mean? You know, you know what it is. It's mad because I just, in Leicester, that's what you mean. Like, when the man don't come true, I'm just mm. there. I'm just the hottie rolling with like 20 goons. You mm. get it? Like, mm. it's just bad, but that's all I know. It's like, pinks, yo, come man, we're going out. We, you get it? So I'm nice, I'm good. Like, it is what it is. So, I don't know nothing else. So after Pinky Go Get, you go to Trillery Banks. Yeah, Trillers. Why? Chillery Gone Banks. Drillers. Why? Why? Um, I went through a transition period from Pinky Go Getter to Chillery Banks. I stopped doing music for a while. I didn't think I was getting anywhere. I used to come London. I was grinding. Mm. Um, and after a while, these times, there's no females like that. All the females you have here today, mm. other than the old school ones, there wasn't no new school. The females that we have here now, they wasn't about. Mm -hmm. So there was only one and two, literally. Um, and I was doing my thing, but then for me, when I don't see results mm -hmm. as quick as I want to see them, of, yeah, but I'm just like, yo, I need to make peace because I'm not a regular chick. When I say real hot girl, I mean a regular, no disrespect to someone who has a courser, I always wanted the golf. You right. understand? Right. And then after the golf, I want the beams. And after the beams, I want the dip. And I'm just but always trying to level up. That's because you've been around the hustlers. Up. You've been around it. That's, so you know. I'm always trying to level up. Yeah. So for yeah. me, if I'm trying, if I'm doing, I'm, if I'm putting a lot of work in one area, but I'm not mm. seeing no returns like that, yeah. these times it was never music for money or money for music. So I've got to go back to my grind now. Mm -hmm. So then it's back to the roads doing my little thing, whatever, mm -hmm. and then building up a clothing brand. I've always been into my fashion and that. And obviously I'm a businesswoman, so I'm like, okay, girls, I'm a girl. I love to go H&M to the sale rail, see what I can get. Obviously if it's full price, it's all, like, if I want it, I'm mm -hmm. getting it, innit? Mm -hmm. But if I see it and it's three pound, I'm still making it look good and I don't feel no way. Mm -hmm. Girls are cheap. So I'm like, let me do something for the mandem. Are you me? My thing was a mandem thing. I'm selling tees to the mandem and I can get 30 to 50 quid for a banging t-shirt from the mandem. Yeah. For the girls, mm. they don't want to spend that on a t-shirt, like what, one t-shirt, unless it's like a Gucci print or something. So I was like, okay, this is an avenue for me. So I had some ideas. Obviously, Leicester's popping when it comes to production, when it comes to factories, printing, all them kind of things. So okay. I was like, okay, cool. Let me do this alongside yeah. the little road thing. All right, cool. So I'm doing That's this, smart. doing this. Uh, and I'm pulling up on your block with tees. Yo, what? Wow, oh, where you got some pinks, yo? So I'm pulling up with the tees. Duh, duh, duh. I'm writing it down the cab and that, that and that. I'm like, yo, this is lit. Like, you get me 20 pound hats, 30 pound hats, 30 pound t-shirts, whatever. So I was just doing that, building that up as well. True. Mm -hmm. And then um, I was I was looking for um like I wanted to I was looking for something to put on it, something that was standardish, that was just that look sick, represented kind like of a me. Kind of thing. Yeah, and I was just thinking, okay, trill. Mm -hmm. And then obviously, yeah, trill kind of originated from the south, pimp C bun B, the word trill, true, mm -hmm. to be true with oneself and to be real with all. Yep. That's me, yep. down yep. to the T. Yep. 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 So yeah, the Trill Boys Club, I uh, created a little movement, the Trill Boys Club. I had people all over the UK wearing these t-shirts and stuff, mm -hmm. came to London to pitch it. So even when I wasn't working and doing music, mm -hmm. I was still like judging was one of the first ones I was like Jad I got sort of you yo Didn't, like yo I got, like literally calm tease and not only was I like people was actually paying me like now nah, hold this like supporting yeah. the hustle do you know what I'm saying so yeah, I had yeah. bear rappers in my shit mm. um Jad Jay Spades Hypo Joe Black Skepta Sick. JME Sick. like I had I had a, a it, fair yeah. few people cold. like wearing my shit yeah fucking yeah, with my shit yeah. from back in the day I had it in one shop in Islington as well like oh. Joe Black actually got a t-shirt without even knowing it was mine okay. and I seen him and I was like yo that's my tick like we followed each other. I'm like yo that's my tick he's like yo I went I was in Izzy and I was like yeah like obviously that was just genuine that weren't even mm. like right that's truly we yeah, thing do you know yeah, what I mean yeah, alongside yeah. the others so yeah man I just started doing that's that cold. Um, and I was just 
while I wasn't doing music, mm. I was I was doing that, but I came up with the whole en entrepreneur, entrepreneur, entrepreneur Ooh, UK. Entrepreneur. Yeah, entrepreneur UK. That's so that's what that's I did. Cold. That was the brand. And then the Trill Boys thing came under that. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, cool. People are seeing me. Mm. Well, I'm going for the music though. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. Nah, these gala whack. <laughs> these gala whack things. We need, like, yo, you need to come back out here. Scratching my head, like, I don't know about that. But then, fast forward a few months, couple years, whatever, mm. I'm like, yeah, do you know what? I need to come back. Pinky got pinky. There's too many pinkies. Okay. And I'm, yeah, I'm all catching up with couple pink. It's long. So okay. I'm like, do you know what? Okay. I need something with star quality. Mm -hmm. Like something where if you overhear someone on the train or the bus saying, yo, Trilly, we bet. You're like, yo, who the Trilly, we bet? A man's no, gonna you have to Google say the thing. In an American accent for it to sound Trilly colder. Bex. You get it? So I'm like, let me start. And I was thinking of names and I'm already doing the trill thing. Okay. So I'm thinking, okay, how can I incorporate trill, oh. which is a word that I fuck with? And ASAP Rocky was doing the trill thing as well. Mm. And then obviously, Hillary Banks, Trillary Banks. Fresh Prince, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Okay. She's dope. She's got the okay. matching Chanel drip with the the, 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 the bag and, and the. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. But it was like, Daddy, can I get a bag? Daddy, can I have $100 to go to the mall? But with me, it wasn't Daddy. It was just, yo, if I got a. Yeah? Plot. Come and drop, yeah. Let's get you know what's racking. crazy? So the banks so, came from Hillary. I thought for some yeah. reason, not that you took, not that you took it. That's the wrong word. But was you ever inspired by Miss Banks or that's mm -mm. never Hillary? Not Banks. with the name, nah. Yeah, not, not no negative. Nah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was. It was straight Hillary. It fresh was Prince. straight fresh. Prince, fresh Prince was the thing. But so. I was thinking, remember, Hill, mm. Hillary, tri well, Trill, Trillionaire, Trill, Bill, Hill, Skill, Lil. But it was right. just kind of what we, it had to have Trill in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so yeah. for me, I was like Hillary Banks, Trillary Banks, Trillary, Trillary Clinton. Uh, no, let's do the. The Trinity Banks, Banks thing because it works. So I was just like, yo, cold. this has got a ring to it, you know? And I'm saying that there's so many ways I can um, grow this. Mm -hmm. And also, it's got that American vibe. Mm -hmm. No disrespect. I'm not one of them females who, or not even females, one of them artists who's like, fuck America. We don't need America. Or am I trying to get big in America? I'm trying to get big in America because there's 56 states, bro, and they're all bigger than the UK. Fuck you, mean. What do you mean? Are you trying to Money take for Mech. Top? To Money to for top. mech, of course. So you've got to have something relatable as well, a relatable story, a relatable name. Like it wasn't for that reason, but I know that's something that people mm -hmm. can fuck with as well. So I just wanted something with international star quality factor where you hear a name mm. and then you would like certain names. If I heard some Dibby Dibby name, I don't care you know, about it. Research on it. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, with this, yeah. I was like, nah, do you know what's got a ring to it? And then... um that became a part of the movement. It's been a while now. Time flies. How long have you been Banks for now? Say about probably best part of uh, seven years or so. Been for seven years, yeah. Yeah, easily. Might even be longer than that. You know, sometimes when you when you see how long you've been on um, mm. like Insta and that, mm, mm, and I'm mm. just like, whoa, swear down, it's been that long. And you're thinking like, you're thinking probably been like three, four years, well, five years. It's been a lot, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I was late to grand myself. So yeah, man. Um, Trillery was the rebirth. I had to take some time out. I had to live life. We all need to do that sometimes. Seen a lot of things, yeah. done a lot of things, experienced a lot of things, kind of fell out of love with the music and then fell back. It's always been there, but sometimes I'm just like, yo, bills have got to get paid. No one don't care about Leicester eyes. No one's trying to look at that. You feel? You feel nah, like that? Yeah, like literally. But these times, remember the one and two little artists that we got from Leicester now, mm. these are, we're not, we're unheard of. Like, literally, there was no one. When I was Pinky Go Getter, there was no one out here trying to do it like that. There was bare artists in Leicester them times there, mm -hmm. like, just spitting. Like, remember Ben, everyone was freestyling five, six years ago. Mm -hmm. Everyone was hungry. Mm -hmm. Like, when the UK was really in its bag, even in London. Yeah. But in, um, in Leicester, it's like, no one weren't really paying it atten any attention like that. And we never had, like, a one DJ saying, oh, let's do a city to city where we bring people in, like, mm. you know what I mean? Shout out one extra. They're doing things like that now, but mm. that wasn't happening then. then. So it was just kind of like, okay, cool. How do I do this? And I was like, do you know what? I'm going to stop fucking doing this road shit, you know, and I'm going to focus my energy on this music thing. That's because sick. if That's I'm sick. one foot in, one foot out, it's going to be like, I'm, I'm a strong believer in energies and mm -hmm. I feel like you get out what you put in. Mm -hmm. And I told the youths, like, I can't be a hypocrite and say you're going to have to allow the road for a bit to do this if I've not done it myself. And I level up and some, do you know what I mean? And I'm not necessarily risking my freedom or around these 
dodgy people on the roads or whatever mm. now. So for me, as long as I can feed myself and live the life that I want to live right now, mm. then I can only be so grateful. So it benefits you to be two fit into music. You can't be one fit in, one fit out, you're saying? I don't, yeah, I don't think so. And I feel like maybe some artists will never know until they really put the road down because karma's real. You can't be that, like, road shit, whether it be class C's or class A's, is still road mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I went from selling jewels to now, like, raw, who's got Buddha? Do you right, get it? Right, like, right, not right, even. Right, I'll get right, a little right. bit and I like a spliff every now and then. Do you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like, yeah, I don't feel like you can do both. I don't feel like you can dedicate your whole being to music as much as, because I'm a very independent artist. I've got a manager. I've got one or two, you know, shout out my team, but mm -hmm. I'm very hands on. Mm -hmm. You cannot do it all. And then I'm here, man, they're ringing me like, yo, dude, what, what? And then I'm here like, oh, okay, go lick this and do and do. Nah, man, that's long. That where well, I don't have time to do that. And to keep a same mind and to write sick, dope rhymes as yeah, well. And yeah. to go Where'd and do videos and that. Counting. Like, yeah, yeah nah, yeah. I don't believe in the one foot in, one foot out. So I can only be like, hopefully in 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 a year's time, mm. if, yeah, don't wait too long. <laughs> I want to be like, right, I'm the testimony. I, I, I kept it moving. I'm living a clean life mm -hmm. and it happened for me. And I can only say like, raw. if you need to track to get the bag and get to this and that, where you feel like, okay, now I can do this. Because mm -hmm. that's what everyone's saying. I just want to get my 250 stack or my 500 stack or my 50 stack or whatever it is for you. Mm -hmm. And once mm -hmm. I get that, mm -hmm. man's done with the road team. Mm -hmm. And then you see him on the landing. Because yep. he didn't stop. Yep. And then police came and kicked off his door. Yep. Do you understand what I'm saying? It only Bully. goes one, day, um, one way. And two of my closest Cody's, they got 24 years. Okay. They're the people that ring me more than anybody. Okay. As mad as that is. Well, more than my own music? family. They keep your music till you stay on music. Hey, you mean? Yo, yeah. man, heard your one next. I'm keeping the Achilles them mm. going. Do you get it? So yeah. big up all the man them in prison. Trust me. Because, yo, trust me, like, it's that real. Mm. And it's... 23 hours bang up now and yep. madnesses and no visits and yep. you get what I'm saying? You're really yep. trying to get a tech these times. Yep. But it is what it is. I'm just like, listen, I got you mm -hmm. and this is just, this is it. That could have been me. That could be my kids. Mm -hmm. That Facts. could be my, my dad. That could be, that could be anyone around me. So it's Facts. just like, you know what? I know fast money. Like I can go anywhere in the world and not have to even spend money because people have got me like that, okay. you know, but okay. it's, it's, Bigger than that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man. So, what does Mumsy think of you doing um, music? And she that? loves she loves me and she loves my music. Shout from out to my mums. She was with you from the jump. Yeah, she. I've been about it from time. I don't know what it's like. like. I don't know if you overhear people spitting or you see little phone. Before you was like really bothered about your phone or your pen and pad, you know mm. what I mean? Like, obviously, mm. your mum can go in the room and have a look. Yeah, and yeah, like, oh, yeah, the fuck's yeah, this? Yeah, go yeah, and have yeah, a look yeah, and you think, yeah, okay. Yeah. I don't know, but um, yeah, my mum's cool. And before, like, you get private links before your video comes course, out, innit? So I'm like, mum, come. Oh, you're sure, in yeah, that, I'm yeah. like, come. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. not everyone's That's happy, cold. but it That's is cold. what it is. As long as me and my mum can approve of it, you know what I mean? Then it is what it is. But nah, she's she's my biggest fan. She messages me all the time. She mm. messaged me the other day, like, oh, yeah, you, like the Star One song with Bat G, that just played. I know a big mistake just got played on Sion. Like, she knows the whole thing. I'm like, why do you know so? Much. oh yeah i love that new song i love that central z song i love this song oh yeah he's oh, really good mom know, you know. knows mom yeah, knows the thing like oh who's know. that person or who's yeah. that person i've heard this new person on the radio i'm really feeding that guy or yeah. gets his new song sick you know feel yo stormzy or and i'm just like yo mom knows well gone yeah Mom's she pays attention man yeah she likes music she likes music and it's good because some of the um elders will be like i'm gonna look a they look foolish this way when I listen them drill and them all them little pass on. We love on all school music, but my mum likes. I yeah. think when you work like NHS, big up all the frontline workers as well, like you've got either Capital X you're playing mm. or maybe Radio One, but these yeah. are keeping it more urban. So yeah, they're up to the top. Is there a pressure like on female artists to like show off breast and batty and them thing there? I don't or think is there it... is. I don't think there is. No pressure. No, because if you don't want to show it, don't show it. Does like, sex sell, though? No? Does sex of sell? Of course, definitely. Sex sells. So, like, Even out of music, strip clubs, sex yeah. workers, you know, porn, mm -hmm. you name it, sex mm -hmm. sells. You know why? Because it's what everyone talks about, but everyone does yeah. what people don't want to talk about or people don't want to... Do you I know what I mean? It's like, hey, look at them not kissing. Oh, they've had sex. Do we not all have sex when we go home and we're with our partners? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's just like, mm -hmm. it's one of them things. And then with the woman, the woman's supposed to be seen as like the, 
um, the queen. Yeah, and the chilled and don't talk and just be the and just all. I'm trying to explain. I'm trying to find the words, <laughs> but you're not like what the the and. I used to dip, and the dip. Now I took the, like, when was that? Where, where, like, you don't do that. You're a woman. Who was your favourite? Little Kim or Foxy? Um, Little Kim overall. Little Kim overall. Yeah, Little Kim overall. Obviously, shout out Foxy. With me, mm. I feel like when I was growing up in the, well, by the time I was um, old enough to overstand it, like, late 90s, mm. it was more Kim. Okay. Kim was out there more than Foxy. Kim was selling like, sex, I think. Yeah, artist. yeah, yeah, of course. Well, but she was like out there more than Foxy. Like, yeah. I heard Foxy had a couple tunes, but then Kim had tunes with Christina Aguilera. Mm -hmm. And with, the, you get me, like, with, mm -hmm. the, with the singers that were big as well. So mm -hmm. we was definitely seeing more than Kim. But um, for me, like, some people fall sex appeal when it doesn't look good anyway. So as much as people feel like breast and batty cells, I do, it doesn't work for everybody. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if you're not that way inclined... Work to your strengths kind of thing. Yeah, and it's 2020 slash 20... Well, 2021, from, even from all the years before this, like mm -hmm. we are in a time where people will wear a shorter skirt mm -hmm. or a whole see-through bodysuit with like little underwear. They will wear them things. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the times are changing. So I think a lot of people blame the times changing on female like how females put themselves out there but it's like take away her being a rapper yeah. go west end you're gonna see a, a woman white or black mm -hmm. dressed how a rapper is dressed in a club so yeah. what now then yeah that's facts. just where we're at in it do you feel being light-skinned is like um does what's the word not pressure or nothing but like do you feel like i don't know do you get the people trying uh because you're light-skinned we don't really want to listen to you or there's a stereotype. You, are you supported by all shades of I don't know. I, I, I would hope to feel so because I don't class myself as light skinned. I would just, in Jamaica, it's more like she's brown. Okay. And you know, you just, that's just how Jamaicans refer to certain things. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I would never call myself a lighty. Um, it's not really my thing. I'm just a lighter shade of the same black that we're all representing. Um, but I feel like it can. It can go against you sometimes, but I don't feel like, I don't know, I just feel like my life's been hard. Do you know what I mean? In the nicest possible way. Mm -hmm. I can't speak for anyone else. Mm -hmm. My mum was a black woman. Mm -hmm. She is a black woman. Mm -hmm. My grandma is a black woman. You know, she's, she's had many fights coming to the UK in the 60s and the 70s, not getting jobs she should have got. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've, it was mad because when my grandma passed, we was going through things in the house and it was like seeing letters where she's writing to the people them in the hospital, like, I'm not happy with this. Crazy. And it's, imagine this, this has been going on for ages. We shouldn't still be talking about like this, 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 this division. Mm. I'm not feeling it because imagine this now, mm. you're lighter skinned and you have a, and you have a dark skinned child. Yeah. Or vice versa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is does the same? Are you not gonna love your child any? Do you understand? Less, does this yeah, does yeah, this same yeah, argument yeah. stand now? Yeah, good Two point. black good parents point. can have a dondo suit, you know, you know, real mm. white with yeah, with yeah, blonde yeah, hair, yeah. and they're yeah. saying it's witch witchcraft and all this shit. No, it happened. It happened. Like yeah. just the same. With the, my the sibling the color the, the skin tones of me and my siblings range okay. from dark skin to lighter right. than me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no discrimination that can run in that household. Mm -hmm. It never has and it never mm -hmm. will. Mm -hmm. And that's not to say that my brother, who's lighter than all of us, ain't had more fight than my little brother, mm -hmm. who's darker. You just don't know. So for me, I don't like to compare. I just okay. like to know that if I'm, I'm black and if I see some injustice shit going on with any anybody for that matter, it's not even a colour thing, but black first, are you mad? Yeah. It's not running around me. So I don't see this dark skin, light skin thing. I don't see, I don't, I'm not trying to see all of that. Like okay. I'm trying to move past all of that. Mm. I feel like we shouldn't be here arguing over stuff like this. I get it. I know how it is. We know about this, this. We know from slavery. We know from, you know, they put they're putting the darker skin people outside and keeping the lighter skin people mm -hmm. in the houses and stuff. But mm -hmm. yo, we need to just like show the whole world and the people that designed and set up this shit for us mm. that this shit is not stopping us. Mm. Simple. Mm. Like there's not one shade of black. There's never gonna be. Mm -hmm. So I just feel like there shouldn't be the division. It, it, we need to stop. What, we growing, need growing to stop. up in Leicester, was what was was it racist? Like, was it very? Was it bad? Certain areas as well, like you wouldn't go to. Yeah. Overall, don't yeah. get me wrong. Like it was pretty calm. Like mm -hmm. as black people, we love being black, 
and we was just out here, bare different girls, bare different man, then bare different colours, lighter skin, darker skin, big, fat, short, mm, little, mm, you know, mm, whatever. Mm, we was mm, just, mm, it was just mm, us, innit? We was just us. Mm. Either way, we was all one, whether you was mixed race. Mm -hmm. We had some that were quarter. Mm -hmm. They look almost white. But mm -hmm. their mum or their dad was mixed race. They still wasn't white. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. wasn't saying, oh, yeah, she's caught a cash, she can't hang with it. It wasn't like that. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Literally. So, um, yeah, like, it's not... I don't even see see that. But, um, yeah, I've experienced a lot of racism, racism in, in Leicester yeah. as well. Yeah. Like, even just little things like you go Zara and you're like, what, is my man trying to follow me around the store? I'm like, looking at my man, like, bro, you think I'm not going to pay for my things, bro? So it's the like, same why are you asking everywhere. me for the fucking... Crazy. Like, you're asking me to show you the things when I go in the fucking dressing room. Like, That's if crazy. I want a teeth, I'm not going to teeth anyway. Like, mm. do you get it? Like, I hate that. <laughs> I hate that. Even now, you go Bond Street, you go Oxford Circus and you're just thinking, raw. Right, like, you know, you're just thinking somewhere there's someone on the camera zooming yeah, 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 into yeah, your yeah. team. And look, yeah, when you just come in the store, they're on you. Yeah, 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 yeah like, yeah, yeah. either way, just, just because you're black. Mm. Mm. Just because you're black, that shit hurts. So you see with music now, what, what, what gives you, like what does it for you? Is it more making a music or performing? Like what's the, if you could have a pick to make music or perform, which one would you go towards? If you could only pick one of the two. I'd say making music. Yeah. So yeah. You I can love never performing. perform again. No, but piss off. It. What kind of question is this No, I'm just saying, that's what I'm saying to you. If you could only pick one, is it the making it or is it the performing? What's better for you? What do you get more of a thrill out of? Like, when you make that tune in the studio, are you more gassed or is it when you go perform? Come on, you know you get the hard questions over here, man. No, I know, I know, know, I know, I know. And, um, and it's hard for you because I know you like both. I'd say composing. You say compose, making the music, yeah. 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 And everything you make comes from life you've lived or seen around you, right? Yeah. Life experiences, Life experiences things I've seen, things I've gone through. Mm. Um, yeah, definitely. It's all real stuff. It's all real life. It's, nah, all, definitely, it's definitely all just relatable. me and how I, how I feel. And Yeah, man, that's what music is, isn't it? Like, mm. You see black people, we come from music. Everyone comes from music. The mm. heartbeat, you go when you're pregnant and you get a scan. And it's like, doo -doo, doo -doo, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's the child's heartbeat. That's how it came. I like that. Analysis yeah, still, we're from yeah. Africa. This yeah. is how it started. We're all, we're all vibration. I like that one So still. come on, it's only right. And obviously, we're the first. Black people are the first. So definitely, we definitely lead when it comes to certain things just naturally. I think black people have a natural flair and talent when it comes to music. I believe so as well. What's your um, background, Jamaican? I'm half Jamaican, half quarter Jamaican. Antiguan, and quarter Irish. Jeez, that's the yes. mix-up you got. Paddies, yeah. Shout out the Irish lot as well. Big up the Paddies, them. Straight. That, that was proper. But you see with your music, though, I've noticed you've done a couple of things already. Didn't you perform at, um, where was it? The Red Bull thing. You did something for Red Bull? Yeah, we did the Red Bull stage at Carnival. The Red Bull stage? Yeah, the Red Bull stage Carnival. at Carnival. Yeah, you know that's a big thing, so... Yeah, no, nah, that was like 10, 15 What year was that? There. What year was that? That was like... Maybe 018. Couple years ago. Couple years ago. Yeah, a couple years How ago. How you find it? It was good, you know. That was it was lit. It was the the weather was awful and I felt sorry for the crowd, but they were still there was loving it, it. Pissing it down. Yeah. Imagine that. Imagine being in a crowd because where the Red Bull is, it's like gated. Mm -hmm. Even though Carnival's open, yeah, you've got to yeah, try and keep yeah, it on yeah, the yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah so that was like yeah, gated. Yeah. That was mad. But um, yeah, big up, big up Red Bull because obviously they do like the culture clash that's as well. I feel like they yeah, kind of help us thing. kind of get in our bag and embrace certain things yeah. and kind of get behind people and, and what they're representing I think they as well. Give us a platform. That's why. Yeah, it's like, definitely. For you, that's cool. Definitely. Um, so yeah, I've, I've done the Red Bull stage, done um, Wireless, Love Box. Um, I've done the Hype Festival in Germany. Done a few things abroad, Sweden. Um, done some big shows, Stamina. There's a big thing called Stamina. Cool. In that was like that was probably like the biggest. One of the biggest events in the UK, like mm -hmm. outside of a festival, mm -hmm. and that was based in Leicester. Mm -hmm. And that's the wickedest thing to me. It's mad how Leicester don't have more recognition because some of the biggest events happen in Leicester. Like so, yeah. uni events, yeah, stamina, like if you know, you know. Yeah. That was big and it's in Leicester. Right. You've got thousands of London youths and gal in Leicester for stamina. Mm -hmm. Obviously, remember DMU, you've got De Montfort University, okay. DMU. Okay. Like Leicester's a hub. There's bare, bare Londoners in, in Leicester. Caribbean, Jamaican, Niger, Ghanaian. Yeah, Leicester's Leicester's lively, but they're all in their little hood. They're all in the uni areas, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They're all like Narba roadsides and that. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, like if you're not in them ends, if you've not like got a 
line up there or whatever from where I come from you don't we don't really go to them ends anyway unless it's okay. summer and you go bead park if you lot of like if you've ever been to DMU you'll know about bead park mm -hmm. um yeah that's like we would go bead park like mm. yeah from back in the day you go bead park like before we was going to chill and mine was probably going bead park to jack man but you get it like okay, bead park that was, was the spot. it was a okay. yeah it's a spot yeah um so yeah like it's mad Leicester's Leicester is popping it is popping no I definitely believe, there's I definitely so much potential yeah I definitely agree with you that it maybe just the uni DJs and that needed to push it a bit more mm. but then you can only push what's there that's a fact do you know what I mean that's so maybe it's just for more people to encourage others from Leicester like do you feel to, like you get support from like male rappers and stuff like, overall overall like, yeah like, i do i do yeah. they're not trying to work yet what's going why on why is that though why do you, you like think... love man what don't you want to work with the, the real hot girl talk then? to them i don't know why do you think that is though like maybe why? because they'll get spun on a tune i don't know is it a thing where they I'm talk to you in your everything. dms but they don't talk to you in your comments um i think that Support happens wise. yeah i think that happens anyway i've 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 stuck it on a few rappers for that as what? well. Yeah, just respectfully, in it. Like, don't, what is it about don't talk it, what about it about if you're that? on the same shit yeah. yourself, in it. What is it about that though? Talking in your DM know. but not in your comments. I don't. I don't know. I'm the kind of person with me like mm. it's mad because certain girls like mm. it's like oh I'm not every I don't like to put myself everywhere or I don't like to be like you don't want to be seen to be everywhere. I just comment as I seem to com feel to comment. If I'm mm. following mm. you and you're posting something or some kind of content, whether it be a picture, whether it be a tune, mm. if I'm not feeling the tune, I'm not commenting on the tune. I'm not going to like it. Or it might, it, it, it's two of the things. It didn't cross my my feed mm -hmm. or I wasn't really feeling it. I'm not going to show fake love for, this, for the sake of yeah, showing fake yeah, love. Yeah, yeah. But if I'm feeling certain, I like it. So I'm not the kind of person that's like, oh, I don't want people to see Trillery on the, this page and that page and that page and think she's just everywhere. Because if you know me on a different level, you know it's not that anyway. Right. I'm not out here trying to put like a facade out there to the world that oh, Trillery's just under this page and that page. and mm -hmm. This is fucking social media. Mm -hmm. I was talking to one of my OGs from, from America and he's like, listen, Trillery, Social, you gotta use it as work. This fact. is work. You go, you give them what they want and yeah. you keep it moving. Don't yeah. get caught up in this commentary shit. Mm -hmm. Don't get caught up in this and that. This is not real life. This is social media. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's just that. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. You might see me under someone's picture if I think you look cute. I might say, yeah, is that how you going on? You yeah, get it? Yeah, no yeah. cap, it is what it is. Yeah. Um, I feel like everyone's a bit, their chest is too high sometimes. But mm. you gotta give credit where it's due, and Fact. all that work, Fact. all that, all that is gonna happen is when Truly We is really, really up there. Mm. You're all gonna wanna work with me. It's the way. So it is what it is. I, we we've seen it all. Do you know what I mean? Why so is it like that though? Like, what is it? I don't know, but I feel like it's time. Like, unless the man them you lot can speak for yourselves. Like, do you feel the females ain't? Mm. hard enough to go on a track with you mm. or mm. are you just waiting for them to do more so you can say yeah she's getting this amount of streams now she's ready like I feel like they're sitting in the don't be yeah. preaching yeah. Yeah. about support black women we need to help black women and this that and, and it's all these hashtags we're going on mm -hmm. but you, you do the hashtags when it's injustice mm -hmm. shit going on but in a real life, you're not living the same hashtag yeah. that you're posting. Yeah. Hashtag support black women. Yeah. You're not supporting black women like that. You're watching us in the DMs. You might leave a comment every now and then. But it's, 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 that's it. But mm -hmm. it's always kind of been like that until women get in their bag. When you see these stateside girls, every nigga's trying to work that's, with them. Do you get what I'm that's saying? Point, but yeah. that's because most of them either come up under someone's 30, mm -hmm. whether it be management mm -hmm. or little Kim with the gang. Foxy with the everyone yeah, come yeah, up with someone from um, Nicki Minaj, it's the YMCMB. Everyone comes through with someone. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, so sometimes if you've got a 30 team, you're going to be getting 30 features. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nicki from yeah. the jump, you had Wayne, you had Drake, you had Tiger, you had you know, you name it. She came, she was with a 30 camp. Mm -hmm. So I think with the UK, there's a lack of that. There there's is, a lack there of is, women that. Mm. being supported and obviously man them like not the meaty ones just the real ones that mm. need that need that love because they're due it like they're owed it now mm. Mm. like mm. don't not because it sounds good i'm not working with no one because it sounds good i like to do shit from the organically heart. as well yeah, yeah definitely yeah, 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 yeah so you see you mentioned in love there what's like what's the 14th of february looking like for trillery banks it's looking dry 
It's looking dry like this black belly. Yo, Rick Ross, fling some of these white and these Talk pink to them. bellers Talk to the blood to clot team. So wait, you're telling it's, me, yeah, it's not. is there any expectations for Valentine's Day from your perspective? Let's get into that. Valentine is coming. Um, wait, what's, the, what's the situation? I you feel sing, like... You single? Yeah. You're single? Yeah, I've got to be, man. I need time to just get my head around certain things. But yeah. Um, yeah, it's just one of them ones where with me, mm -hmm. I'm not... Um, a ball like that, so whether it be a one, two flowers, whether it be raw, let's go Paris or whatever, or whether it just be, I'm not even, it's not a man thing, the girl, them, let's just link up and chill. I'm not against Valentine's Day, yeah. yeah? So even if I don't have a Valentine's, I'm not going to be one of them Scrooges, like, fuck Valentine's Day, because I see other people do it. Nah, that's fine. To me, I just feel like... Um, so what, a man can't take your Brighton Beach? Why? What's this Paris thing about? Paris? No, yeah, a man can take your Bright, Brighton Bright, I have Brighton Beach... Yeah, I understand. Dirty, We've got though. some Is good beaches dirty? over here. I don't know about but Brighton can't drive in particular. Devon, Cornwall. But might have to go, yeah, Bournemouth Beach or one of them. Yeah, but <laughs> what's it, Paris? Why has it always got to be what? No, no, that's just the place of love. So that's I just threw it out of, there. Okay, I just threw it out there. Okay. I'd rather go Bali or like we could even go fucking Portugal on oh. the 50 pound ride in there. You see me, yeah? You see when you know the hood and you know the struggle, like money mm. will never amount to love to me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So the same guy that's gonna buy you Chanel's and take you Nobu and beat you and then two months later you don't hear from him and he's like, Yeah, man, just bought her some Chanel's and took her Nobu and these times, even though that's like a bag or two to you, mm. that ain't nothing if you're about that life. Mm. The same way your man will struggle to spend fifty pounds mm -hmm. on some good extra special flowers because he's a guy who's just his mm -hmm. cash flow isn't like that. That's the same way a man can get you a Chanel and just say boom. Mm -hmm. That's the same two pound card that a man who has only got ten pound mm -hmm. had to buy. Do you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. don't get lost in the sauce, ladies, because not for you lot. Like, trust me, like. The material side of things, it's not helping you. Like, so, that's what I'm on. I swear down, it's not necessary sometimes. I feel like, to me, money is not love. And I know, because I've linked Brockman and I've linked m niggas with money as well. So how do you feel about dating in the industry then? Oh, it's is, that, is that an option or is that off limits or...? It might be now. Fucking hell, you don't know, do you? You don't know these fucking days. But, um... I don't know. I don't know. I think sometimes Talk when truth, when, man. when you're in the industry, mm. you need to. It, it's necessary mm -hmm. because some people don't understand until they have girls raging and they have like a lot of people don't understand it. Do you know right, what I mean? Right, so right, for right. bare lights, like, like what swear down? What all of these rappers are just under your girl's ting and red tear tear and like some people are open like yo. Trillery, that's my wifey, innit? Mm -hmm. And then other people, it will be in the DM. Certain man will openly be like, nah, Trillery's like, but like, regardless, don't mean I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be disrespectful, but mm -hmm. certain man will be like, yeah. So certain guys can't take that. Like, you know, when you're too proud. Mm -hmm. So I feel like when, if you are someone who's kind of in the public eye, you need to have someone who's understanding me, like maybe hug up with a fan or doing a little, like, it's not personal. You can't get, um, you can't get jealous of things like that because that's going to affect us. If you know me and you trust me, then you know that it it's doesn't go no further yeah, than it's you. Hundred percent. But for me, like I don't know, I don't feel like a lot of these artists are really in tune with their self. Okay. So for me, like I need someone who is um, mentally and spiritually on a higher level, and I don't discriminate. Like if I like you and you're in the scene and whatever, and we yeah, click, like I still yeah, I still chat to you. Yeah, but overall, yeah, yeah. it's trash. Man, I just trash anyway. Respectfully. Respectfully, that's why yeah. I didn't get on to her. You're done. I love men though. Like, it is what it is. Like, You're trash, but you know mm. what I mean? I am straight, so I'm still going to have to get dipped down somehow, innit? So then, how does that work Valentine's Day? You just chill out by yourself? Yeah, Valentine is coming. Are you just going to be Where's chilling out? Where's your boyfriend? Uh, I'm, I'm, I got booth. I'm going to studio. That's what I'm talking hey, I mean, about. Positive. I might even do a little love tune for the. All right, yeah, then. Yeah, how, come, yeah, how come you ain't got a tune coming yeah. up? But you, hold on. Yeah. You got something. Oh, yeah. Soon, yeah, yeah, soon. I got a tune landing next week. But okay. do you know what? I wanted to. Mm -hmm. I think I dropped one on Valentine's last year. Okay. It's just one of them ones that either happens or it, or it doesn't, it doesn't yeah, happen, yeah, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. But I think with the UK, like. That isn't something that really impacts things anyway. Mm -hmm. Like, we're not in that space where we've got some crazy, either rappers touching on them topics or singers touching on them topics where we were waiting for that Valentine's drop. Yeah, yeah, Pardon yeah. me, in America, it'd be different. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. might get a Jaquiz, might get an LMA, might get a Nicki drop, might get a Meat drop. Mm -hmm. You don't know who's going to mm -hmm. drop in it, but we we don't... Love ain't put out there like that in our, in our community. Right. Yeah, I think we're not scared to touch on it, but for real, we I don't are, really Everyone hear it. is. The man yeah. them are. Because yeah. everyone's a baller. Everyone's a bad bitch. You're leaving niggas on red. 
Mm. Every nigga's just cheating things and keeping it moving. Mm. No one's getting their heart broken. No one's speaking about the real shit. No one's addressing when the woman comes around the yard and she can't cook what she's been labbing, oh. no like she can cook. Like, <laughs> no one's addressing when the nigga's dick game ain't all that when he was gassing it Is up. That was going on, on all off lost... the record. Oh, man. Everyone's just capping. I'm not here to cap. So wait, everyone's wait, so wait, here, wait, everyone's wait, wait, capping. Wait, wait, so wait, so... Cappuccino. So, let's say you lay down with something and, and the D game ain't right. Are you telling him there and then? It has to be done there and then. You're going to tell him there and then? Give me an example. Like, if you would stroke, say what? If the stroke ain't right, I'm saying like, okay, let's change position. What do you mean? Oh, like, yeah, if you're yeah, coming yeah, and yeah, start like, sitting there no, like, calm. no. But you're not going to dis... You're going to... Tell yeah, him. but overall, if it's a few, like, a f like yeah, a f like, it can't, it can't be, it can't be, I don't know, maybe even though I've been with some half toxic people, maybe Ooh. the D game was, like, it was that, and the pom pom game is A1, so it's just, it's just, right. it works, isn't it? Right. It works, right. it definitely works, but it's definitely not a dead, dead sex thing. There's nothing worse than it. Sex should be the most amazing thing. It is good Can sex. Can you train your partner to, to give you good sex, though? I've been seeing this topic online. I don't know if it was made you think. We got made you think. I don't know where day, it was, but I've seen this conversation. I don't believe. Like, I don't think it's someone's place to. As in, for you to train them or for them? Yeah, to the training things long. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, you mm. can have a ting, and you know, right? The pom pom's defo tunnel. It's a good nine, mm. but she's a bit. Like, so you might have to do the little Meg jokes and let her know she got to go on top of it and okay. she's got to do this. And, but okay. you know in your heart if it's got potential yes, in it. Yes, like, yes. sometimes it's like, okay, cool. Do you want to, like, you can either say straight up, like, you, you're dope, but I think we could be a bit more adventurous. Or you could just, like, drop little hints and stuff. But if there's no way of coming back, like, there's only certain times you're going to get neck and it's bare teeth and you're thinking this is long. Like, you're either going to have to talk the things, or if it's not teachable, then you're going to have to find someone who does it better. Would you date a man that don't go down in the box? I have, but not in 2021. <laughs> Respectfully. Pum, pum, Where is this, though? Yeah. Where is this, though? I feel Emin, like the women are pressurising the, the man. The good, good like... fruit. The good, good fruit of life. The nah. garden of Eden. Oh, no, better go down, they go fine on the apple hey, thing, yam. I feel it like you're not pressuring the man, you know. No, nah, we're out. not. What's, what's going we're on? We're not. Listen, if it don't float your boat, that's cool, but yes. you will not be sailing on my waters. Okay. Oh, it's, n it's necessary because foreplay is probably where most of the orgasms so come from. So to be with Trillium, you have women. to go down in the box. Yeah, man. I'm, it is that. Like, it's, n it's not long term. Don't get me wrong. Certain in the hood niggas, they're part. You get me? <laughs> <laughs> Certain in the hood niggas, they're blowing out the backs and they're not going down in this. It's, it's, it's mad. You lie them. But mm. overall, like, nah, man. I think sometimes it just... Yeah, I think it works. I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. And I feel like we need to stop making women feel like pussy is nasty or dirty. Oh, it's yeah, all right that's... for a girl to suck your cock, but certain man would say, oh, we're not going to go down there. And it's just like, eh, because she's a girl and she has periods and rare. But mm -hmm. it's not like, I don't think you should see it like that. Do you know what I mean? If it's mm -hmm. not your thing, it's, it's not, not your, your thing, thing. in it. Yeah, yeah, but at the same yeah. time, you never know if you try. Mm -hmm. And most people do, I know, most people do. You lot are just capping. But I don't know, I feel like slowly we are getting there. Like mm -hmm. DBE, for instance, I mean, fucking hell. Yeah, the sock like, pom thing is out there now in the UK more than it's ever been. You think some men are talking about it that ain't doing it, though? I don't think so. Like, just to make it look I like hope, it's cool? I hope not. I don't know, man. I hope not. I hope not. Nah, most people do, though. Most people do. They do. And I just feel like it's just a part of, it's just a part of it. But there's an art. I don't want dead head. If you can't <laughs> give me head, don't, like... Do you know what I mean? It's all long. Sometimes you've got to test their head skills before they get pom pom, and if it's not that, you just leave then them on red. That's how you're working over there? It gets like that. You're too gang, man. It so happens. what? If a hairdresser what put mean? Gorilla Glue in your head? <laughs> is it beef? You're a pussy, oh, you know? Beef? Of course it's beef. It I'm beef? licking that down as well. Yeah, of course. I'm it's beef. compensation. Of course. I, I, see it, I see it lately. I'm... I see you tweet something actually. Oh, Gorilla Glue. You tweet yeah. something about it. The only gr I only know about weed. I didn't even know about this Gorilla Glue, but when I went to Tesco the other day, it was at the bottom of the aisle, like they was promoting it. Yeah, so yeah, it yeah, right Gorilla there. Glue sales, yeah. you lot are gas right now. Gorilla Glue are so <laughs> up right now, it doesn't even make no sense. But Gorilla Glue on my hair, no way, tearing out every piece of edge. So it's beef. Yeah, she was an idiot for that. I don't feel sorry for her. I don't feel sorry for her. Only a only an American, first of all. 
Mm, so, you see what, going back to music though, your manager, you, you, you touched on your manager. Yeah. What do you expect from him? Are there expectations from a manager? Like, I feel like artists that don't have a manager make need to know like what to expect from one. What um, do you expect from yours? I can't say... I feel like mm. a lot of it is what you put in as well. Yeah, that's a fact. Do you fact. understand? Yeah, that's a fact. So, my manager's not no roadman who's coming like, yeah, I want 50-50, a man's going to put a couple hundred bags and give this and give you mm -hmm. a rollie and get make pay for a feature with him and him and him. We try and use what we have mm -hmm. to climb the ladder. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Obviously, yeah. he's got experience and, and whatnot and we're just working. Mm -hmm. So, for me, it's just vibes. Um, I wouldn't recommend the hood thing personally like oh, hood, oh hood don't man. take a hood manager it's not don't me personally i'm not taking you, a hood manager yeah, like that yeah, yeah, yeah no because yeah, i'm just yeah, like yeah. i've come from the hood and i know what comes from it right do you know what right, i mean so right, me personally right. i'm not on the hood manager thing okay. but i feel like with managers just get someone who believes in you mm -hmm. who inspires you mm -hmm. who keeps you motivated mm -hmm. and who um is just willing to put in the work for you that's it I'm that's right. all you can do and you can just try and obviously, if it's not working, don't let it go on for too long. Mm -hmm. Don't think I should have not been with this manager and I should have done this and I should have done that. Respectfully, mm -hmm. just um, give yourself time scales and make sure you're vocal and honest. Yeah. That's all you can be. Yeah. They should tell you what they expect from you. And, if, and, and listen, managers, keep your artists in check. Because I'm seeing certain things on the social media and I expect better. So where's management? Talk up, talk up. What are we talking Brother, about now? What are we talking are they, about? Yeah. What are you talking about? Your artist shouldn't be mm. doing certain things. Like? Just the way they conduct themselves, certain things that you say, certain ways you go on. Like, you shouldn't... Like, your manager's supposed to keep you in check. My manager, if I'm doing... My manager will ring me and be like, truly, we know. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's never yeah. really yeah. happened yeah. to the point where it's like, because I don't... I'm not an outrageous person. Yeah. Yeah. But if he did, I know Lyndon is going to say, truly, take yeah. that down. Truly, we know... Do you understand what I'm saying? Because, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know... And, and that's it. Like, that's what your manager's there that's for, to make sure you don't make a fool out of yourself. Certain right. people have to scratch my head and think, do you have managers? Because quite clearly, you're unruly. Or does Some your people are too unruly. Exactly, exactly. This is it. Yeah, yeah. But as I said, like, I'm not like, as much as it might sound like cap, I'm here for the music before the money. Mm -hmm. I never blew overnight. Mm -hmm. I'm not rich. Mm -hmm. I'm still out here grinding, paying for my shit, paying for my studio, paying for my videos. There's not no label doing it for me. Do you understand what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I appreciate and love music. And that's why it can be a bit disheartening mm -hmm. when you see people who have got no love for music. You've done it like you, you're not a musician. Mm -hmm. Anyone can do music now. Mm -hmm. Anyone can pick up a fucking mic and say I'm a rapper now. Like anyone can be a rapper. Like, And I feel like the fact that Anyone can just like the scene just lets everyone come true. Sometimes it's a bit of a piss take mm -hmm. for the people like me and yourselves and other mm -hmm. people that really are artists mm -hmm. from way back before all of this hype thing. Mm -hmm. But again, like I'm happy for any black people, young people, gal women. I'm happy for people to come and get bags in it. Cause I know it's not easy for us in this lifestyle and I, um, in this lifetime. And I want everyone to be good and just be living good. As black people, yeah. we deserve to nice. be living and driving good, going yeah. on holidays, looking after our mumsies and shit. We've mm -hmm. come from nothing. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like, mm -hmm respectfully don't think you can come and disrespect the people them that paved the fucking way and i don't hear certain people bigging up pioneers like how can you be an artist and you've never even you don't you've not done your research mm. Mm. you don't know who my man is you don't know who twin is you don't mm. know who target is you don't yeah. know who glenn is yeah you don't know who do you understand what i'm saying yeah yeah, and and, and Wiley just chats too much and you don't bro these yeah. are the people that paved the way for this yeah, fucking yeah, thing yeah, you yeah. don't know about these people like how can you not know I'm asking I've said to people I've mentioned names and I'm like you don't I said you need to get to know these these are A &Rs. these are you need to know these people yeah. do you know what I mean so bare people you Who's just did one whose fault is that though whose fault is that you think like, that they don't, they don't know I don't know like it's it's a it's collect it's a collective thing. Mm. Like it's a collective thing, isn't it? Mm. I mm. feel like it's just a collective thing. That's all I can say. Mm. It's a collective thing. Mm. It's collect it's all of us. Because it's not that you should kiss everyone's ass, but at the same time you show love and respect Manners, where it? it's due. Yeah. And that's always life. That's how it has been and mm -hmm. that's how it should be. When you come from the hood, you don't just come and think you can go licking cells on the next man's block or in your ends or whatever. You have to you have to have certain links with the man then. Mm -hmm. And if someone comes and tries to jack you, you're good. 
because you can say, yo, and they're as a good you now nah, come. Mm. Right, the, the, the killies them and we go and mm -hmm. we, we, we get this straight. Do you know what I mean? That's the love that that's the village that raises raises a child. That's right. Everyone wants to just be king in the village and no one don't know you. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. So I feel like, yeah, man, learn. Learn about the UK. Learn about Westies. Learn about Joe Blacks. Learn about yeah. Benny Banks. Yeah, learn yeah, about yeah. Yeah. these, the, you know, the Mash Town and the PDC and yeah. man from Educate South yourself. and yeah, certain yeah, yeah, yeah. ones with an, man. You get it? Learn about the man them. Learn mm. about the North man. Learn about learn about the South man, East man. Learn about the man from Brom and le learn about the culture. Mm. Learn about where this all started from. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. it should give you a bit of an inkling on you know, where it was, where it's got to, where it is now, and yeah, yeah, you make yeah, your music yeah. make sense because yeah. half of this music is not timeless. We don't care about this in two years, in two months, let alone two years. Come that's on. That's a problem, yeah. That's a problem. There's not enough love music. out here. There's not, eno not enough love given to so those So back who to you now because we're here for you. Like, it. this year, what, have you set any targets for this year, 2021? Yeah, I'm trying to have a charting right. record. I'm trying to have a lot of things still, like a nice situation when that, when that comes and just aligns itself. Um, and um, just push myself out there, get the music out there. I've mm -hmm. got the music, like it's coming, man. Like trust me, I'm a I'm a firm believer in manifestation, and I'm mm -hmm. a firm believer nah, I see that, you like, on Twitter. yeah, yeah you, you are, you, you are, yeah. you are what you uh, like. You attract what you are you as go. well. So a lot yeah. of times we have lessons in life because it's a lesson that God's given us to come, to over, like to overcome, and then to kind of help us move forward on our journey. And I feel like there's not an ambassador for real women. Is it you? Who it's definitely me. Yeah. I'm not switching, I'm not putting no implants in my ting, mm -hmm. you know, unless it's for, you know, any medical reasons and it wouldn't be like, but do you know what I mean? I'm not, there's, there, yeah. I'm not going, I'm not doing it. I've just decided, like, I'm not doing it. Why should I? To look like the next bitch gonna and it's going to change. Yeah. Yeah, like 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. it's important. It's important because trust me, ladies, this is not real life. And just because they're this and they're this and their eyes start, it doesn't mean they're happy. So don't lose yourself in the source. Be you. Just be proud of who you are and cut through. So what? Period. Album, mixtape, singles. Yeah, singles for now. Um, project when it makes sense. As mm -hmm. I said, we've all got it there, but it's just kind of got to make sense. I feel like now people are just um, waiting for just... Trinity to, to pop off. A hundred percent. Do you know what I mean? A hundred percent. I've got what? some big tunes coming. No features you're gonna mention or save that, save that man. Um yeah, I'm gonna save I'm save gonna that, save, yeah, that. save that. I'm save gonna that, save, that. save that. But I've got a big a, a big feature from Brom. I got some big okay. features from um London as well. I got a big feature from well Sh everyone in I, I put it out there that I've got a song with um Shata Wale. He's a big um artist from Ghana as well. Cold. Cold. Me and the cold. fanatics. Need more we got of that, some man. big tunes. Yeah, oh, no, Simon Fanatics as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cold, we got like cold, three, cold, four rhythms. Like we got cold. a song coming as well with um a Jamaican artist called Version. So big up Version, he's yeah, got a project more coming that, man. under um Parlophone, I'm pretty sure. Parlophone. So um yeah man, chips on that as well on, okay. on that project with Virgin. That mm -hmm. song's come out already. Me and him have got a song. Oh, Fanatics Fanatics produced the whole project. Cold. And and obviously they just said, Yo, we want a verse for this. So that was that Cold. was blessed. Yeah, man, just pushing. I've got bare rhythms coming, bare different genres. Um and when I do different genres, it's not because I don't have no direction, it's just because I'm not I'm not you're an artist. I'm not like this. Sometimes yeah, I wanna artist. do drill, sometimes I wanna real you're not rap, allow sometimes I wanna do in. dance or no, why the yeah, fuck should yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, like, yeah. look at us, we're multicultural. Like, we've got white bridges that can talk little patois and mm -hmm. we know little art, nas, kala, gora. We, we mm -hmm. all, we're all one, like, do whatever you fucking please, innit? There should, no one don't mind when Drake does it. That's a fact. All right then, so, allow me. Anyone in the scene that you're not really seeing eye to eye with? The ones you, yeah. Or is it public it, knowledge it, for everybody? Yeah, really, yeah, but not really. <laughs> Not even really. Not even really. Imagine, not even really. Because yeah. someone said that to me, like, ask Trillery, like, Ra, like, who doesn't she see eye to eye with as a female? And I was like, Ra, I don't really know of who she doesn't, you know? You so know, ask... you know, on some real nigga shit, we don't talk too much. All right. I'm the kind of person, we don't talk too much. I love that. So, yeah, there's one and two. But we're not going to. But we don't talk, yeah, we don't talk too much. Say it's no not more. even that. Obviously, good luck to you. That's it. Keep it moving, innit? I do my thing, you do your thing, and that's it. But um, mm. it's it's never it's never a thing where I let these kind of things phase me. Is it ever personal? 
Sometimes it is, but sometimes people just don't like how you are and as well, as well, like mm. certain things you'll never know, you know, because have you ever had beef with a brother and he's like, clue, this is why I had beef with you because you fucked my gal back in the day or because you fucking that time when we did that move or whatever, mm. I should have mm. got this mm. or remember rare tear tear, like enough mm. of the reasons that mm. a nigga don't like you is a dickhead thing. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, can't yeah. even tell yeah, you yeah, without yeah, feeling yeah. like a dickhead. Yes, so yes, are you yes. going to tell me that guy who was on to you, who mm. I kind of liked, or whatever the case may be, that's why I don't like you, or because mm. you got that um, look with that brand and I didn't get it, that I don't like you, or because mm. you just you just look better than me, mm -hmm. that I don't like you, mm -hmm. or do you get it? Like, you can't, like, it's petty. Mm -hmm. So that's why most of the times when people have problems with you, they won't never really come and say what the problem is because they are ashamed. Mm -hmm of that problem like you. no one ever comes with chess like you know that for yourself I man can you. have problems with you and it's never like it never really gets resolved or mm. it's never really and you're just thinking what that's it mm. so it doesn't never make sense but for me it's just it is what it is like when you like i was rowdy mm -hmm. What, growing just, up or just Yeah, growing general? up, I was rowdy. Like, yeah. I come from a rowdy place with rowdy girls and even in Leicester, like, even at any big dark, like, yo, whether it be the older girls, or, listen, it was rowdy, innit? Mm -hmm. So for me, I'm just like, listen, as long as no one don't put their hand on me, we're good, innit? Mm -hmm. Like, I ain't got no time. Anything from that is it's whatever. Yeah. But you know what I mean? We just keep it moving. Like, you're always going to have people that love you and you're always going to have people that don't like you. I don't like like everyone. Not personal. I'm never going to say I don't like you if I don't know you. But mm. sometimes I see certain things or I might hear something. I'm like, I don't really like that music. You can have an opinion I on see it. Some, yeah, 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 I'm not even really yeah. that keen. But it's not where I'm going to be out here, like, tweeting, oh, mm. I'm not this or I'm not that, or unless it's really necessary. Like, mm -hmm. it's just... Keep your opinions to yourself. Imagine how nice social media would be, people, if we just kept our fucking opinions to ourselves a little bit more. Crack on. Is that why you got a single coming last called Last Man Standing? Yeah. Cause that title sound interesting. Is that something I'll we need to tune into? Standing. Like when's that soon? That's on um, the horizon, right? Yeah, it's it's dropping. Well, we're gonna well, yeah. we're gonna yeah. we're gonna we're gonna talk. We're yeah. gonna put we're gonna make this yeah, yeah. Go into so it. you this it might be out or it might be coming out in the next few days or it might even be out already. But yeah, last man standing, nineteenth of February. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, that's out. Last man standing, the title's there. The title's um, there. You, you, when you're trying not to talk about it, talk about it, man. Talk about it. Last man standing, what do you mean? When I yeah, when I wrote <laughs> Last Man Standing, it yeah. is what it is. Things have gone on mm -hmm. and it's just... Um, Time to talk about them. Not even them, because who are they? But it's just where I'm, where I'm at, okay. where I was at. And I thought it was the perfect song to kick off the year with. Yeah? Literally. And I say landing in the chorus. Yeah. Well, obviously, that's why yeah. you're on the landing. Yeah, I, so I say landing in the chorus. You're not already, like, like, trust me, you get me, got things landing. None of the ops ain't got talk on a landing. Come on, you already know. So yeah, man, um, last man standing, that's just how we're kicking it off. And there's just so much, I'm so excited. I've got so many tunes. I'm just like, like, what do I, where do I even go? Like, mm -hmm. what comes mm -hmm. next? I've been working with a Niger artist, he's sick. I've got some Afro beats. I'm hear. getting into, yeah. I'm getting in my yeah. Niger yeah. bag. Yeah. I'm trying to, this African slash Caribbean slash, the Yardies ain't this and the Niger's ain't. No, it, like, yeah, like, come on, man, like, we're one people, let's let me ask, get it. Let me it. ask you a question so, that I wanted to ask you. Um, as someone that's been involved in clashes, etc., yeah, uh -huh. what's what's different when you're in a clash? Like, is it do you get do you go to bed at night the same you do normally, or are you, are you up at night thinking about raw? I got to collapse someone, you know, like it depends on how serious it is, isn't it? Because mm. sometimes it's just like it's not personal at all. Do you know what I mean? So the little war that I had, it wasn't personal. I don't know. It's not personal. I'm not digging around. It's yeah, not yeah, personal. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I but sometimes you're warring a man and it's yours personal. Even if it's from back in the day, you're from this end, they're from that end. Do you mm -hmm. understand what I mean? So mm -hmm. I think it depends how you are how with it. it yeah, it depends on how deep it is. So more time, it's just, it can just be music and it's yeah. just like, right, it's what it is. But obviously, like... You get in a whole different bag, in it, because yeah, yeah. normally you're not really like it's a time for you to be violent and just kind of like rude and ratchet and just yeah, like. Are there just, rules? Are there rules? No. No rules. No rules. No rules. No rules. I applied a lot of rules to mine as a female because I'm mm. just um. I'm already the fucking bad guy anyway, like. So. Why do you feel like that though? Why do you feel like? 
Because people just want to make it seem that way. I'm the calmest person, Clue. Mm. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm the chilled, most calmest, most realest. Just, I'm just me. Mm. I'm different. But I'm not fake. I'm just me. If you mm. like me, you like me. You might not be. I don't know. Mm. But obviously, that all depends on the vibration that you're on. Mm -hmm. But mm. me personally, I could have said a lot of things, and I just chose not to. Okay. I just chose not to. Do you know what I mean? I didn't mm. think I had to go there specifically. And that's credit so to you. Just, that's credit. Yeah, to you. of course. It just it just depends because yeah. you have to remember in America, these that will talk about your dead granny, yeah, the yeah, abortion yeah, yeah, you yeah, had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll talk about the fucking, your crackhead mom. Which is why They'll I asked you about their your rules. prostitute daughter. Would you talk about that? There's no, I, I should have. I fucking okay. should have. Okay. Do you get it? I fucking should have. What do you mean? You put me in this space. I fucking should have. Why the fuck not? Like, do you mm. know me? Mm. But then at the same mm. time, the UK is too sensitive. Mm -hmm. You don't need to stop going like you're bad people because you're not. You're sensitive. Mm -hmm. We can't talk about sex. Remember, remember, America's wild, you know? Yeah. I yeah. grew up yeah. watching Smack DVDs. Big up Smack. All day. I was in a clubhouse room. Everyone was paying homage to him. Mm -hmm. I remember watching it like this is mad. Mm -hmm. And when it ends in your face and the spit's getting close and he's telling about <laughs> you, fuck, nigga, fuck, then, uh, what are you going to do? You can't punch him. You, it's, it's peas on the table. This is business. Mm -hmm. So you've got to get your game face on now and come back. Mm -hmm. And what are you going to say? Oh, I can't talk about someone's features or someone's... Co These are talking about nigga, so black. D -d -d you get it? This is America. Like, it's not colour. Is They don't... It, that ain't ever put out there. It's just you're doing the damage to do the damage while you're doing the damage in it mm -hmm. that's just what it is there mm -hmm. like it's not you're not supposed to be like that every day yeah. you're not supposed to be an ignorant disrespectful person every, every day, day yeah. but at the same time that's what it is what's next for trillery banks then like what's just music like what music. stage would trillery banks like to be on if, 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 if this went back to normal and we could fly anywhere shows was running is there a show or a festival that you want to be at a certain one probably rolling stones coachella oh word um I don't know Afro why I thought you were going to say wireless. Afro Nation. Why, like, yeah, no, wireless is like the Wireless course. is like the... Yeah, yeah, yeah like, Not the meaty little side yeah, stage, the little Pepsi thing. The big thing. Yeah, the big thing. The big thing. Yeah, the big thing. The big thing. Like, the big thing. So even if even if it's not my thing, but someone has to bring me out on a goat thing. What made you get say me? Rolling Stones? I don't, I don't even know about that. Rolling thing. Stones. Is it Rolling Stones? Did I get that wrong? Rolling Stones? Rolling Loud. I'm so dumb. Do you get it? Yeah, my Don't get on to me. Yeah. My intentions were there. Rolling Loud. Yeah, because it's... Um, now I've heard about it. My people have never been saying. Yeah, they've okay. got it in a few different states okay. as well. Yeah. So oh. yeah, the Rolling Loud thing that's supposed to be lit. Okay. Obviously, we know Coachella's lit. Afro Nation. Yeah. I was gonna say, yeah. but yeah. the Ghana one, because obviously I have a tune with yeah, someone yeah, from yeah, Ghana yeah, as be, well. Yeah. Um, Sting, Clash. I've done this little. I want yeah. main stage Sting. Let's go, Ninja Man. It. These things inspired me. Put on my little gear and rare tear and yeah, just let them know because Jamaican people love the fuckery. That's how you really solidify yourself as an artist sometimes. That's if you want to be seen mm. as an artist that can come and do the do 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 Because not everyone, yeah. some people are yeah. singers, some people are songwriters, not everyone is that kind of artist, isn't it? Mm. But with me, I feel like, you know, I feel like I'm an all-rounder. Mm -hmm. And because I grew up listening to gangster music and watching rap battles and I used mm -hmm. to even watch girls battling, I used to be like, this is so sick. Mm -hmm. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm not a battle rapper. Nonetheless, I do, like, if it's that, then it's that. that I never imagined having a clash with who I had a clash with, yeah. potentially. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But whatever happens, happens. Like, with me, I don't plan things. I don't do none of that thing. Oh, let me try and draw out this person or do this or do that or whatever. To do, do, do. With me, I just live my life. Mm -hmm. Even with the beef, like, when you get to a certain age, it's like, we're not going out looking for trouble as mm. young girl now. Like, if girls Facts. think, oh, they're them high fields, girl, right? if you want to see and try a thing, you know how that's going to go, in it. But at the same time, like, we're past that stage now where we're just at it looking, like, do you know what I mean? So I just feel like any artist, like, you should always defend yourself defend your territory like that's just in life in it but other than that just cut through and just be cool just be a nice person just chill in it love is it's so much more easier to love than it is to hate it's it's less draining mm -hmm. like do you know what i mean no one's got time like it's just better it's so much mm -hmm. more easier to smile than it is to have a mean mug so and what 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 is the dream what was the dream for you music what's the dream the dream to is be to be at the top or the dream is it's not even all glitz and glam and money stable. and fame to me, it's to change the world through, through your to, voice. Be a, to be able to change the world to some aspect yeah. through voice. my voice yeah, and yeah. my soul and my spirit because that is what drives the music. Okay. I'm just a vessel. I'm a human being in it, but mm -hmm. 
when we go to sleep, like we don't even twitch, like, and then when we wake up again, we move. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So there's something powering this body that we have, and for me, it's just like, just, just to, just to be a part of the change, like, however big or small it is. I mean, I someone like that. Tupac, for instance, he's died that. so long ago, I know, but like, so come on, well. man. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. R.I.P. Pac, like. Literally, it's just a whole nother level though. Like, mm -hmm. it's just to make a change. And for women as well, for black women. For women, but for black women as a black woman. Ah, straight. Like, we got the queen, man. You already know. Straight. 100%. Um, all right, cool. Let me give you some quick fire round questions. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, and we're going to switch. We're switching that as well, anyway. Oh, you're going to hit. Oh, I like the questions you've been asking me. That's why I'm not right. had to grill. I'm not had to grill um, clue too much, you know. Because you know you can ask me anything. You know that, I've been, yeah, enjoy yeah, yeah. I've been enjoying it, so I've not I really asked you too many questions. I appreciate you. But yeah, no, we're going to do. Gone, yeah, right, gone. Cool, is it, it's not the same quick fire every time, is it? No, 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 no. There's a you couple little it. different things okay, that change cool. around, but you know. Um, name a male rapper that you rate. What just brought you? UK, any... UK. A male, a male rapper. rapper that you rate. Um, why is it taking me? I, I don't know I, why it's taking you so long. You know what long. it is, yeah? I'm just thinking, thinking of... You're thinking of bare names. Yeah, just they're the all going name. through say my head. Say the first name. Say one. We know you know you rate a few others, but one. Scraps. Scraps, yeah? Do yeah. you prefer to be single or in a relationship? In a relationship. But you're single? Yeah. All right. Independent or major? What would you rather be? Either or. Like just whatever know, works, isn't it? I'm not. I'm not against that. majors. People need to stop going on like majors are the worst, man. Just stop signing dud contracts without having a fucking lawyer. Innit? Touch on that quickly. What is the situation with everyone saying it's best to be indie? Do you believe that? It's not that best to be indie. It's not best not to be good? indie. What? No, majors aren't good when you're in a long-term contract like a and you're not and delivering. That. Yeah. And when you have been potentially shagged because you didn't have a good lawyer to look over it to know mm. what the clauses were. Mm -hmm. If not. You might give me a not a single with three options. Mm -hmm. You might not want to take the three options. You might want to. I might be happy to say, da, 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 da. and with the option, it's an option. It's mm. like, do you know what I mean? It depends so on where you want to go. So don't pop down the major labels, basically. No, nah, man. There's there's enough good there's enough good major labels and A and Rs and, and stuff. So let's not let's not down. cap. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, name an artist that's aired you. When I say aired you, you might have reached out. Yo, let's do a tune or and you ain't got no reply nothing. I got a reply. It's not the one I wanted. Chip. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Um, the best producer for you? Machine Man Tim and Sammy Sosa. My machine, guys. My dog. Come on. Um, best DJ? Um, I'm going to say for the ladies, Cyan. Anderson. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to give two because obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. we can't that's fair. That's you get fair. it. That's fair. And then for the man, them, um, uh, I got to put Lani in there. He's not a UK DJ like that, but he's a, I'm, I'm Jamaican. Yeah, yeah, DJ sure, Lani's yeah. up there. Yeah, 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 of course. Come on, man. Big up DJ Lani. Um, your top two favourite artists right now? UK. Um... Um, who are my two favourite artists? Right now. I don't want to answer that. Hmm? I don't want to answer that. Why? It's not like a why. Look at you. You see? You see? You see? You fuck, are you? Because there's just too many artists. It's just, I just don't have two favourites. One favourite. That makes it harder. But easier at the same time. If you could get a collab right now of any artist from the UK, who would it be? Um, Adele. Cold. Sick answer. Big up Adele. Yeah, Adele. Um, for real, for real. What area are you from? Highfields. Who started UK Drill for you? The 150 man then. Alright. Um, what's Trillery Banks' best song for everyone to go and check out now? I was gonna say something mix up, but let me not be mixed up. <laughs> say the mix up thing, man. Um say it. 
Besserung wird Genie. Why you doing this? Um, White Hennessy. White Hennessy, yeah. Yeah, it's a What nice project vibe. was that on? It was on Vote for Trillery. It's like more of a dark soul vibe, but it's a song. It's a song in it. Like I could rap is rap, but songs mm -hmm. that got my first million stream. So I'm gonna say check that oh, out. Even oh, if you're a red oh, man, you that. love drill and that. I'm sure you oh, you like the little vibe. What football team do you support? Do you support a football team? No. If you had to pick one, we, I know who, but say... Why are you trying to say Leicester? Because I'm I know you're going to say, say the thing. Big up Leicester. All right, there you go. LCFC. There you kill go. Him, lick him, man down 3-1. Mm. Are you mean? Been top of the league and not too far off. So you lot put respect on the team. We will win another All right, this one, this one here is kind of interesting a little because it can go two ways. Dirty dancing on Man on Fire. So what's that? Hold on, what's that? All right then. Hold on, what's that? What's that? Dirty dancing. A program or a tune or hold on. Wait, don't. wait, wait. You don't wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't make me don't, seem don't like a make, dickhead. Wait, 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 wait. Don't make me as a male. Explain the Ross Clark thing. Dirty dancing. What the film? film. Uh, yeah, okay, the film. Yeah. You definitely know Dirty Dancing or Man on Fire. You see Man on Fire, Denzel. You see, yeah, you see Man on Fire. Is that like with the youth? The little gal. And he trades his life for her life at the end. Ooh, yeah. Are you all right? Ooh, yeah. All right, then. Which one are you picking? Uh. Mm, you see how I do it? That's what I'm trying to say. The landing, you know, I tell you. Need to push you for an answer, please. Denzel. The man, man on fire. fire. Yeah, the man on fire. Little baby or little duck? Fuck, man, you're pussy. Come on, you, man. man. Ooh, yeah, because I like, like them subscribe. both. Of um, course you do. Yeah, I can only pick one. Okay, the only reason I'm going to say Dirk is because he's been here longer. Okay. But I'm trying to fuck with both of y'all, so unless you ain't obstinate, yeah, oh, shout right. me yeah. out. Shout them, yeah. Shout, yeah, yeah holla. Big up Lil' yeah, Big up I would say, yeah. obviously, oh, big up, obviously, big up Dirt, big up the, yeah, yeah big up yeah. the shout, yeah, come on. So, yeah, just longer. Uh, They've been out longer, but baby is fucking killing it. I, got, I love him, he's dope. I've got dope. two more for you, sorry. Um, what's your favourite food? Um, seafood. Is it? I'm a pescatarian. Pescatarian. Oh, you're yeah. yeah. So, seafood is my favourite food. Just in general, lobster, just, shrimps, yeah. pork, calamari, like oysters, mussels, I feel all like that. This, like we're in a generation where it's a seafood thing. Yeah, I love it. It sits better on your stomach as you well. Do oyster, out, you man. do oysters and all that. I will have a quick oyster. I've had it before. Mm. I'm more of a mussel person because oysters are just like slurpy. They're supposed to be an amazing aphrodisiac. So maybe when you're oh. with your ting, slurpy, see if the sex is any better. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? It's heat of food. Last question. Will you be taking the vaccine? No. So if they tell you right now, Trillery, in order for you to excel, go America, blum, boom, boom, music, you have to take this vaccine or stay here. You're not no. taking it. Unless it's by thought, like, no, I'm not trying to take it. No, Percy, no. What's your reasons for saying no? Just because I feel like, if I, like, I feel like everything that's written is written in it. So mm -hmm. I feel like if you're taking it to prevent COVID, to prevent mm -hmm. death, mm -hmm. then that's like, preventing a route to go left, but you could still end up in a car crash. Like, you just don't know when it's going to happen. When you're involved in certain things or you go down there and then you ended up getting in a passer and, like, you could have went another way, but someone said go that way that day. Mm -hmm. Do you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So for mm -hmm. me, if that's what it is to prevent this, I feel like it's written anyway. So that's just my reasons for it. Plus, I don't know what they're putting in into me. Yeah, yeah. But if it was a, a safe, vaccine, mm -hmm. literally, genuinely, organically, what's in it and whatever, You're then that's a different it. thing. Yeah, of course. As long as it's not damaging me and I don't know that yet, yeah, so yeah. I've got to be careful. Well, all I can say is nothing but love and respect for coming through. Is there anything yeah. you're trying to ask me? Yeah, you're trying to, all right. I've seen the questions. You see the questions, they're there. On the thingy. She's flipped the script. You better say my script. fucking name. Yeah. Did you, you didn't ask me to um, figure your female rapper you yeah, rate. you know I know how to Okay, cool. Um... But I think that's a meaty question. You though. can you can make okay. up the questions if you want. You know, Name you a rapper from Birmingham that you rate. A rapper from Birmingham that I rate millions. Doggy or missionary. Doggy. No brainer. Bel Air or Moe. Bel Air. Who is the best comedian from the UK? In the UK. Um, 
best comedian in the UK for me. Uh, that's a hard one. I'm just going to go with Mo, though. Big up Mo. Mo Gilligan. And best American comedian. What? Can be dead or have to be alive? No, you know either, either way. Either way. Richard Pryor. Okay, cool. Your top two R&B artists from America. My sexy R&B, R&B, R&B. Mm -hmm. um, no, but I say R. Kelly neither. <laughs> Yo! Surviving. Yeah, no, I've got to keep my own presenting. Surviving. Um, R&B, yeah? Yeah, your two favourite R&B artists. Because I'm reading, I'm just going to spice um, up your questions. Two R&B artists. Oh, man. Um... What's, what's, um... This is a long-ass episode, isn't it? R&B. Two R&B. Uh, you got to help me out. Give me some options or something. Two R&B, like... Give me some options, man. I don't know. You've got, like, Jaquees. You've got nah. LMA's new. Nah. You've got Marcus Houston. Nah, nah. You've got, I, obviously... Ma okay, we're not going to say R. Kelly, but yeah. he was um Even Marcus artist. Houston, you're wrong on, but please. Would you not say, so is a shanty not r and I'll give it to a shanty. Yeah. A body and a... Yeah. yeah for the age like, that you're at. Yeah. Like Congratulations. a shanty. Genuine. A shanty. Genuine. Um, there you go. Bam. Okay, cool. Done. Shanty. And I've basically gave you them. Um, you. Your best UK... Well, the best song... Best in song. the UK last year. The best song for in you. the UK last year. Yeah, like a just all rounder, like just uh, something that you thought was a solid be song. Eight millions. What was millions of tune that was out? I like. Laga, laga. No, the first one. I think. I he, to get my what was the first one he touched down with? Para. Um, he went yard for the video and that. I the forgot how. Got, you know yeah, no, I know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. No, but I know. Yeah, I know. That one there. Okay, cool. Um, blondes or brunettes. I ain't really got a um, thing, but because I've got to pick one, I'll go with the brunettes. Breast or batty? Batty. I don't know. Not for everybody. Can you turn yeah. a hoe into a housewife? Nope. You're chatting shit. Nope. Enough man a wife. You cannot, hers. I cannot, I would not do that still. If you did that, sweet. She's just trying to add more questions, but you don't know because she's the special guest, it's cool. You know the vibes already. Skittles or Starburst? Ooh, Skittles. Walkers or McCoys? See, McCoys are the McCoys, you know. City break or beach holiday? Beach holiday? All day. Not down Brighton Beach. Nike or Jordans? Ooh. At this present time, Jordans. Trap star or ghost? Ooh, ghost, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> done though, yeah? Shout out come my brothers on. Will, Mike, you already know. The landing. Chillery Banks. Boy, come on. Yeah? Tune in, subscribe, Check like, follow out. on all the social media. You heard Chillery. what she said already, Just man. shout me, you can find me. But yeah, man, big up everyone locked in. The landing. It's going to be juicy. Make sure you subscribe as well.